Question 26. ABDE is a parallelogram. AB is equal to AC. We have to show that X equals 22 degrees. And there's probably quite a few ways of working this out. Just use the angle facts that you feel most comfortable with. As soon as you see a question like this, I always find it a really good idea just to write down things that you are confident at working out and see if it helps you, even if you can't see the answer immediately. The first one I always like to deal with is this triangle. Inside a triangle is 180 degrees. So to work out this missing angle here at EAD, I know that that would be 180 degrees. Take away the two angles that we know, 72 and 65. 108, 48, 43 degrees. So if that one's 43 degrees, it can sort of help us out a little bit, but doesn't give us the information. We need to know what the whole angle here would be to help us find out what x is. Another useful fact is that two angles next to each other in a parallelogram add up to 180. So at the moment, I can also see, as well as with these parallel lines, that this angle here must also be 45 degrees, 43 degrees. So how does that help us? Well, this whole angle round here is going to be the same as that whole angle over here. I'll change colours just to indicate this, that this angle here, 72 add 43, is going to give us 115 degrees. That means that this over here must also give us 115 degrees. That could be a useful fact. But how do we use this? Well, if that's 65, that angle there must also be 65 degrees. If AB and AC are both equal lines of equal length, that would mean that this is an isosceles triangle. And that would also make this angle over here 65 degrees. Notice that at each stage we are building this up and adding new information. If this triangle then is 180, we can take away the 65 and the 65, and that would lead us with 65 and 65 is 130, with 50 degrees left, meaning this single angle here must be 50 degrees, and x is whatever is left over. So, to help us with that one, we have 115 degrees in total, thanks to this fact down here. If we take away 50, because that's the angle left in this triangle, we're left with 65 degrees. And if we take away the 43 that we got from this top right triangle, so 65 subtract 43, we are left with 22 degrees, which must be x. We know the answer is 22, so the fact we've managed to get to that answer is a really good sign. If you don't get it, something's gone wrong, go back and double-check your numbers.